All right, so uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Moon, and as well a rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading for October 5th to October 11th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me or you want to take one of my uh, tarot classes, all, all the information you need in regards to those two things, you're going to find into the description down below as well as the Facebook page where you can, uh, where you can follow me. So with that being said, uh, let's move to the spread straight away um, and see what kind of a uh, experiences you're going to have throughout the week itself. So uh, the first card here is going to show the week and uh, we do have the King of Cups with the King of Swords. So we're definitely talking about a person uh, what kind of a uh, manifestation that person is going to have there are going to show or is going to be displayed with the next cards. But we can say just from those two that that isn't an individual who, how can I say, are an individual who is rather very secretive in the sense of that they do not make it obvious what kind of intentions they do have especially when those intentions are related to feelings now feelings doesn't have to be related to good feelings we could say as well hatred we could say as well poignancy etc etc so that could be someone who secretly loves you but it could be as well someone who secretly hates you okay so don't assume the best straight away or it could be someone who gives an, an impression that they are very interested in you while they aren't or it could be someone as well that gives an impression that they are not interested in you but they are and uh, that's the whole mystery around that person nobody can read them at least for the time being that is because they are very careful when they are to make a move they are very careful when they are to render a decision and they as well are, have rather a professional approach if we may say it that way toward anything that is happening around them rather than a emotional approach but one is certain about that King of Cups, it is that they are capable of rather very, very deep feelings. And as much as they hate to admit it, those feelings with having the King of Swords here, uh, those they, these feelings are interfering with their judgment and they hate that, okay? They hate that they do feel something toward uh, somebody or toward uh, something as well they hate that they like the project they hate that they hate the project for example they like that they like you they hate that they like you i'm sorry they hate that they hate you they want to be um, deprived of any emotions but they aren't for one or another reason so what is going to hurt you and uh, or rather like what is going to hold you back throughout this week we do have the Fool card with the Tower card. And those two are speaking about, uh, they, they could speak about two things that does not relate to each other. So it does depend what kind of relationship you do have with the King of Cups. Those two cards could speak that pulling away from the King of Cups is going to hurt you or rather like is going to hold you back with the general progression and with the general growth that you uh that, that it is uh, how can i say inscribed for you in the grand scheme of things or those uh, two cards could speak that any attempt to change the situation in between you and that king of cups is also is also going to be a detrimental to your future growth in regards to the situations that you are finding yourself at. Now, those two cards here are pointing that going for um, a new unfoldment, if you will, it's not going to play out the way you think. And actually, uh, it will pretty much wreak havoc in the situation itself. 
I don't know what kind of example to give you here. Nothing comes to my mind right now as a term of examples. But what those couple of cards are pretty much asking you to do is just stick to what you know to be true, all right? Stick to uh, your patterns. Stick as well to what is certain rather than to experiment around with new people, with new situations, let alone with something that you know that this person here dislikes. And again, that person could be anybody, depends on what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at. But for God's sake, don't try to change them, nor um, just, you know, sever abruptly the ties you do have with them. So the next one, I, oh, and I was almost to forget. Also, what is going to be detrimental here with those two cards is if you act immaturely, if you act like you don't care, if you do act like, you know, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And probably this is something that you have to display here, that you do care about what is going on in between you two, that you do give a, uh, give a dime um, about you know what, what how your marriage is going to unfold from now on or or how your career is going to play out moving forward etc etc next one is going to show up what is helping you moving forward um in your natural progression we do have the high priestess with the emperor Oh, just give me a second here because these two cards they are always they they are such a such a contradictory cards okay and uh they pretty much speaks about your natural knack of undertaking whatever you know the universe throws at you and that's uh, Things that are meant to happen, they are to happen regardless. So there is no need for you to, um, or for anybody, in fact, you know, to to stress and, and push very, very hard moving forward. With those couple of cards here, you should let, you know, the uh, the situations, your situations, to develop naturally. And that's why here we do have the full big... Uh, the, with the uh, with the tower card urging you not to sever ties, you not to sever ties because that's not 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 it's not natural. I'm sorry. If the ties are to be severed, it is going to be the King of Cups that is going to do it. Now that is going to be your natural progression. So pretty much those couple of cards here are pointing is that you should trust the universe and let her do its thing instead of trying to undertake the things your way and god forbid you try to change the things around now there the havoc and the chaos are going to be i would say out of control i don't want to throw you into a details but these two they are a active friends and that chaos is going to be um, something that it will be very difficult to recover from and even if you do recover the best you can hope for is to uh, regain back positions there won't be any cleansing any nurturing effect it's just it will be completely unnecessary struggle and torment that you are to experience so don't try to change anything at least not f at least not throughout the duration of this particular week and for the next one, who knows, you may have a, a better predispositions, you may have a better means, but not throughout this one. Uh, the last card here is showing how the week is going to end for you. And we do have the Queen of Cups. So we do have another person with the Three of Swords. And that is a uh, someone who heals your, um, your emotional and mental wounds depending on how the week is going to uh, play out. So uh, what we do have at the end of the week it is that another person steps in and offers you a shoulder for you to lean on. And just imagine this. You have to deal with this individual here who is, is not someone that budges very well uh, and bends very well in attempts to be changed 
or in attempts to be uh, to be laid off or in attempts to be let let go of all right and that whole process you knowing that you can't change a thing about or even if you do try things are getting even worse than that is causing an emotional wound you know it's causing a mental wound as well people usually get into depression people usually get uh, into a state where they see no uh, no resolution whatsoever and at the end of the week we do have somebody else who assures you that everything is going to be all right uh, I will give you an example of it which happened to me very recently I mean in um, in my place uh, I have a, a neighbor's really nice families here with uh, with little with little kids and one of the kids start to behave to behave very aggressively and the other the other woman uh, that they are you know friends reassured the other one that this is just a period of time you know it's going to pass away and recently that kid became very very nice it's not aggressive anymore so it passed away so that was a reassurance that you know, things are going to be just fine. And that is, and also is given why and how they're going to be fine. So this is a person at the end of the week that reassures you that things are going to be fine, how and when they are going to become fine, so to speak. Um, what else I can tell about the king, the Queen of Cups with the Three of Swords? These people are very discreet, so pretty much you can you can share anything you uh, you have at your in your mind that bothers you with them. If I have to assess, that could be uh, someone either very very close to you, your bestie, your mother, or someone that plays a motherhood role in your life, or it could be as well your therapist, like um, like a. Um, psychiatrist you know medical doctor etc etc but uh, you do have someone to stand against that will be the, the king of cups and it will be such a difficult job for you to do to endure their behavior and that is all that the week revolves around you standing there taking it and hoping that you know things are gonna change for the better and they will for as long as you can endure the uh, the behavior of that guy or a woman here throughout the week itself. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, not idea one. Um, unfortunately, it's not a good news, but that's my job to uh, read tarot cards, not to sugarcoat things. Uh, so hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.